Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are watching two more episodes of Degrassi, The Next Generation Season 7. We are on episodes 19 and 20, with episode 19 being called Broken Wings and episode 20 being called Ladies Night. Oh my god. Y'all, I slayed. I didn't look. I remembered. I ate that up left no crumbs anyway we're gonna go ahead and get into it but before we start make sure you guys like comment subscribe all that great stuff you already know subscribing is free as hell i recently uploaded two videos um i did a video a while ago talking about making a second channel and a schedule and all this stuff and y'all it's got to be mental illness because i immediately regretted that as soon as i posted like i don't know i can't it's hard for me to make decisions so the second channel is gone, I'm sorry. And I uploaded a video that I was originally gonna upload to my second channel here, the Born This Way video, so check that out if you haven't. And then I just posted a Watching the Grassy High video, which I hadn't done since like March. So check that out too. And without further ado, without further ado, is it ado or to do? Without further to do, without further ado. Maybe I'm just saying it stupidly, whatever. Let's start. Hey, what are you guys doing? This came Have we ever seen Jimmy's mom prior to right now? <laughs> like, who's this lady? Who is she? Who's that? Who's that? Hudson University is pleased to offer you acceptance into our pre-law program. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream come true, Jimmy. Oh, yes, it is. I mean, we've never seen Jimmy express interest in law. Like, who wants to be a lawyer unless you're, like, working for Annalise Keating, right? The character of Jimmy really got ignored, like, after season five. Like, we really could have gotten an entirely different Jimmy if he hadn't got shot. But even though he did get shot, he could have had some very interesting storylines. And besides, like, the whole him getting into art and possibly him dating Ellie thing, like, he really hasn't done anything. And I, like I said, that was season five. We're on season seven. This is his last go. We only have like four episodes left and we really haven't seen much of Jimmy. Oh yeah, when he actually like took his rap off her song, trifling, right? We're still in family counseling and all this stuff's coming up. Look, I have to go. I'm sorry. Go have fun. Call your friends. Yeah, what friends? Yeah, what friends? You don't have friends because you're an asshole. Like you don't deserve friends. Look so hot, I guess you won't even need this. I forgot about her. Pre-law, here I come. You got in, that's amazing! <laughs> Her hair bothers me. Well, you're having stem cell surgery? I finally got the money and paperwork together. If it works, that would be amazing. I know, I know. But you know what would be more amazing? If you came with me. Girl. <laughs> we just met you two days ago. Like, I don't care about her. What was her name again? Tasha. Girl, bye. Anyone can sing. I got the looks. <laughs> we still need a drummer. I'm on it. Is this the birth of the Stoods? You know, the Stoods, out of all the, like, the grassy bands, they're low-key iconic. I mean, they had a lot of iterations, like, a lot of, like, member changes. But for a late, you know, the grassy band, or mid, I guess, because season seven is like mid. I mean, it is mid, but like like mid Degrassi, because I think Degrassi went to 14 seasons, so we're right in the middle, but suit's pretty iconic. Jimmy, where you been? I haven't seen you around here for ages. I know, not since, uh... Damn! Damn. Damn. Let me find that internship application for you. All right, brother. Okay. I'm getting triggered. I don't know if y'all know, but I work at a law firm. I'm not a like lawyer or anything. Like I don't practice law. I just work there. I'm getting triggered because I'm thinking about work. Even though I do like my job, like I really do like my job. Like if y'all know my history of jobs, I mainly worked at McDonald's for like eight years. This job I have now at the law firm, I love it. Anyway, it's 3 a.m. and I'm about to, I'm on my way to go to work. Let's not talk about that. Trina's already hooked up with her. Trina. Trina. Jim. That's her name, not Tasha. <laughs> yeah, get into it. Sam is into it. Look at his face. <laughs> Walking through Central Park won't be as much fun if I have to push you in your wheelchair. I think that's called conditional love. What? I have an application to hand in. Jimmy, wait. Y'all, I have a question, like a genuine question. Am I supposed to care about Trina and Jimmy? Because I don't. You know what should have happened? You know what should have happened? Hazel should have also continued on in season six and seven alongside like Paige, Ellie, Marco. And they should have stayed together. We should be seeing Hazel here. 
It, see, look. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> like, I was thinking, like, doesn't the dad, like, cheat on the mom with that girl? Like, I was thinking that, but I didn't really remember. It's been so long since I watched a lot of these episodes. And seeing that, like, just kind of shook me because I was like, oh my god, I was thinking it and it happened. I low key manifested it, I guess. We need a name. Not a pretty boy. Oh. The fact that a lot of these Degrassi people can play guitars is kind of crazy because in the 10th grade, I took a I took a guitar class. Oh my God, I can't talk. I took that class for an entire semester and I still could not play a guitar. Our like end of semester project was to make a song. It had to be at least like a minute or something like that. And I just repeated the same chord for a minute. But the entire semester, I was really learning how to play Summer Boy by Lady Gaga because, you know, I was a huge Lady Gaga fan. Watched my Born This Way video, but I was trying to learn how to play that song and obviously I couldn't. Peter, look, maybe you and I can be seen together, but those guys, they're like, they're Niners. I'm an 11, Sav's in 10, yeah. Whatever, guys, you're, you're good, but you, your band still needs to look for a drummer, okay? No, it's because they're brown. Literally, he said because they're in ninth grade and Danny is fully grown at this point. I'd be forgetting that Danny's been around for this long of a time. Like he's about to graduate and Sav's in 10th grade. So what is the real issue, Spinner? Gavin, Gavin Mason. Mason. Oh, I'm all up in the mic. <laughs> Authorized by Jermaine Brooks. So you take this to the bank? And they give us the cash and we are on our way to Amsterdam. This is kind of insane to do. Like he really did break into his dad's job and forge his signature. You would hope he's doing it, you know, to possibly walk again, but it's seeming like he's doing this to be with Trina, which girl, fuck Trina. The only Trina I acknowledge is the baddest bitch, Trina. Like you say, sir, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Oh, so we have theft, forgery. And let's not forget adultery. Oh, oh. Gagged him. <laughs> ha! Ah! Let me guess. She manipulates poor, innocent you. Look, just return the money, and this doesn't have to go any further. Then how do I get to Amsterdam? We love blackmail, Jimmy. We love it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Mm -hmm. See, I could not sit there knowing that my dad cheated on my mom and not say that thing. Like, I would immediately tell my mom. My loyalty is there. I like to use my trust fund money and get it done as soon as possible. I'm surprised, Jermaine. You know the risks, and we talked about getting his hopes up. Mom, okay, maybe it won't work. I can live with that. But I can't live without not even trying. I would get the surgery and then immediately afterwards be like, hey, mom. The reason why dad let me do the surgery is because he is cheating on you with some dirty hussy at his job. That's what I would do. But I mean, honestly, we haven't really even seen Jimmy's mom. Like, that was a whole storyline, like, in early Degrassi where, like, his parents was just never around. So, like, maybe he doesn't really care about either one of them. If Jimmy's going overseas for surgery, we've got plans to make. <laughs> we sure do. Who's up for dessert? Definite. Mm. <laughs> Damn, blackmail Jimmy. So dirty, but I like it. I like it, a like it, a like it, a Let's go to the next episode. But I need to get some food first because I'm starving. All of those pancakes because the fast begins in three, two, and go. This is such a random episode. I mean, I guess it kind of exemplifies like Holly J's evilness, but it's kind of filler. Why can't you be supportive? Sav ran the Freedom Fast last year and he taught me everything he knows. And it's taken long. Holly J just being Holly J? I, I swear, if she got to know you better, she... Just to think in about like three years, Holly J and Sav will be dating themselves. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure them dating is like, what, season 10, 11? Like, I say it all the time. Like, I know like major plot points from later seasons, but like the details, like, I don't know how they started dating. I just know they did. I feel like I used to see a lot of Holly J, Saf edits, like on what, what was I using? Like Tumblr back in the Dizzy? Someday, my parents are gonna set me up with a wife. 
Who isn't Anya? You're having an arranged marriage. Girl. That was the only thing my mom left me. I'm so sorry, boo. I didn't mean to make you feel so sad. Jay, still? Oh yeah, that's what happened. She pawned the ring to go visit his family in Malta that he lied about. So he's mad because he lied, pretty much. I mean, pawning the ring is kind of crazy, but he was talking about how he never talks to his family because they live in this like far away country. So she thought she was doing a good thing. Fuck Jay, it's fuck Jay. And I see the comments, people are like, I like May and Janny. <laughs> May, May and Janny. I like Manny and Jay. He's a, he's a changed man. I don't see it. Fuck Jay for Jay life. For life. Three months from Canada originally. I don't spend too much time in North America anymore. I obviously love it here, but I think my work's overseas. Where's the guy I fell in love with? The charming, confident guy who would fix things, not mope about them. I don't know. He met you. What is that supposed to mean? I'm saying, where's the girl that I fell in love with? Girl, fuck you, Jay. You have no right. You have no room or reason to say anything. Like, he should just be quiet. Like, just stop talking. Just don't talk. If we're together, I'll fight that battle when the time comes. It's complicated. But you're worth it. This is all Holly Jay. She's trying to tear us apart. And now she has to pay. Period. <laughs> And you know what? Now you're gonna pay, baby. Even better. Double chocolate chip. What did she pull that cookie out of? Her ass? Hey, I'm a what? Yeah. This is like chocolate heaven. Do you want some? I'm fine. You're lost. Yeah. We can do this, people. Ten more hours. Why must you torture us? Like what I would do in this situation, I would just sleep. Especially once we get like later in the day, like I'm going to sleep. Like sleep can cure hunger. Like if you go to sleep hungry, you won't even like feel it. Okay, but they can really realize like most of the band members are not present. Like Derek can be like, where's Danny? And everybody can be like, where's Peter? Like they're here and now they're not. And Stu's are on the stage. Put two and two together. Listen very carefully, Anya. You do not want Holly J. St. Clair as an enemy. Well, she certainly hasn't been a friend. Bring it. Ooh, not to bring it. Oh, she's ready. Oh, she's rowdy and ready. She said, bring it, bitch. She just said that. <laughs> she said that, bring it, bitch. <laughs> oh, why can't I write for this show? Oh yeah, now he's gonna break in. Now he's breaking in. Now he's breaking in. That's immediate. Freaking, what do they call it? What do they call it? Fiance, what do they call it? Engagement, there you go. Engagement. Oh. Wait, wait, you guys can't eat. Danny, you're, I, you guys can't do this. I, I'm, I take back what I said. Do, do that, do that. See, this is like the main thing I remember about this episode because that pizza looks so good. That pizza literally looks so delicious. Like I was, like, oh my god. So much for leadership. I guess you fail. I love how she took her ponytail out as she was running, like the ponytail was slowing her down. <laughs> It really freaked me out. It was like the old you was back. The old me is gone. Girl, you are still the old you. Are you are just older? Okay, you are like forty five now instead of thirty eight. You're still the old you, just older. Oh. Damn it, Manny, like sister, leave this man. Oh. <gasps> Why do you hate me so much? I don't. You're my best friend. Then why do you treat me like dirt? Because you let me. Girl, I would have slapped the dog shit out of her. And then you gonna walk off with that fuck ass ponytail. I would have yanked that shit out so hard. She would have felt bad. She would be like, oh, because you let me? How about I let you catch these hands? How about that? Breaking and entering is a whole new level of criminal. 
I am the same criminal that you fell in love with. You're hopeless. You're a bitch. <gasps> No, nah, that's it. That's it, fam. I would never, I would never, you would never see my face again. You would never see me again. Don't expect me to visit you in jail. That's literally what I would do. Like, immediately call the police. Yo, I know exactly who broke into that pawn shop. I know his name. I know his address. Come get his ass. Fuck him. Ooh, fuck him. Fuck him. Look, I'll even help you clean up the mess. Stop helping, Holly. Not Holly. It's Holly J. Okay, without you, I have no friends. You know that. Too bad. You did this to yourself. Too bad. So sad. Girl. Fuck her. Fuck her. Why she thought... She really thought she could do that. And, like, just be like, oh, we're friends. Bitch, bye. All right, that is it for these two episodes. Actually, two really good episodes. I was talking about how this last episode we just watched was filler, but I actually really liked it. <laughs> I liked the last one too, so we're on the home stretch of season seven. I know it feels like we've been doing it forever because we have, but we're almost there. And I feel like I may just go ahead and do the last four episodes all in one video. Don't hold me to that because I already know how I am with like saying I'm gonna do stuff and then not do it. Don't hold me to it, but it's a possibility. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.